In this quick tutorial, we are going to learn how we can use LinkedIn Auth, meaning integration of LinkedIn authentication in Bubble.io using API. So let's just start. Welcome to Digital Masur. And first thing first, you have to install Bubble API Connector plugin. And after that, you have to go to this site, check in the description box. Uh, linkedin.wellfirst.com in here you have to make sure that you are logged in and uh, after logging in uh, we will see this screen and here you have to put the company profile URL so my profile already has a company so I am just using it if you don't have any company URL then you can just choose anyone so it's not a big deal so I'm just going to paste it here. It's popping up the name of the company. As the purpose of the video is for Bubble Login. So I'm just going to name this app of Bubble Login. I'm going to paste the same link here. And I think the slash privacy. And then uh, we'll upload the logo. This will be the same logo that we'll see later. So I'm going to add this. Google logo and check this box and create an app. Now the app has been created. In the product section, look for the option sign in with LinkedIn using Open ID Connect and click on the button. Then check this and request access. After accessing the request in the auth section, go to auth section. Now you can see the client ID and secret. Now we have to add another link just like we added in the Facebook login integration. If you haven't watched Facebook login bubble integration tutorial yet, you can watch it by clicking the button appearing up there. Now we have to copy this link and paste it back in the app. As you can see, I have entered all the information in the API plugin, so don't worry. I'll show you how I have added all these details. You just have to learn it. Now after pasting the link, we are able to get the client ID and client secret which we can copy and paste into our app. So first thing first, we have to copy the client ID and client secret and paste into our API. And after that, I'm going to show you that how I have added all these details into API plugin. So you can change the name, it's totally customizable. I'm going to write uh, for now LinkedIn login API. For authentication, I'm going to select uh, Auth2, User Agent Flow. Other than Client ID and Client Secret, you can just copy paste from the description box because uh, these two have to be changed every time. And uh, yeah, you have to check these two also. Uh, for the scope, header, key, and points, you can just uh, copy and paste from the description box also uh, let me tell you how you can get this you have to search on google linkedin open id connect and you will get the documentation right here the second link and open this and uh, yeah you have get the sign in with linkedin using open id connect the whole documentation take your time and read it the whole json response and everything also i'll add this link in the description box you can get it Let's go back and uh, see the call. I have added only one call, LinkedIn API call, which is the data type. And uh, how I have added this link, you have to get it uh, till the projection. You can add it from here. And the values are inside the value box. Again, you can check the description box. You can copy it from there and paste it in the value box yeah that's it now if i try to run it i want to be able to because i have to initialize the call before running it so let's just go back in the design tab and uh, we'll initialize the call also let me show you the workflow for this and uh, here i have added the linkedin uh, button and the workflow is login sign up using linkedin api using social login api call and yeah that's it that's the simplest workflow 
so I'm gonna sign in using LinkedIn and click on the LinkedIn you can see that my password has all automatically rendered and yeah here just like I told you before the image is the one I added before and the bubble login or its capital is the name that I gave in the app, to the app so yeah pretty much we have initialized the call and uh, the pop-up is here now we have initialized the call we can get the returned value in the JSON I click on the initialize button I can see the returned value and yeah and save it we are almost done if I go back and now I try to log in I will be able to log in without entering my password and any details so I'm just gonna show you log out and if I log in using LinkedIn uh, I will uh, yeah automatically logged in so yeah thank you so much for watching that was the pretty much tutorial and hope you have liked it thank you so much